Hi everybody, this is John Lortz from DiscoverSkills.com and today I've got a quick tip about how to work with attachments. One of the most common questions that I get uh, at my classes is, uh, is how do I do attachments? How do I attach something to my email? How do I view attachments? And so I thought I'd just give you a quick overview today. Keep in mind, first of all, that attachments are nothing more than, than files that piggyback along with an email message going from, from you to the recipient. Uh, so in essence, it's a way for you to send a recipient a file that you have on your computer. Okay, And for my example today, I'm first of all going to go into Gmail as my example email system. So we'll pop up Gmail here. And I've already logged in and my, at my main Gmail screen. And I'm going to come over here and click on Compose. And here's my composition screen. Now, keep in mind that you attach a file while you're composing the message. So you're not going to see anything about attaching files until you're actually in composing a message. Most email programs, when you go to compose a message, will either give you a paper clip uh, that represents attachments. It's kind of the universal symbol for attachments. Or they will simply say something like Google does, which is attach a file. And you can see that right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and address it to myself. And jlords at discoverskills.com. And we'll just say here is a picture for you because what I'm going to attach today is a picture. And then I'll put a little something in the body of the message. I'll say, here is a great picture I wanted, if I could spell, wanted you to see. There we go, finally. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and in Google again, I'm going to click on Attach a File. And what that's going to do is open up the file browsing window. Okay, and here's my file browsing window. Now, I'm using Windows 7 today, so over on the left-hand side in the navigation pane, uh, when I scroll down, you can see this is the navigation pane over here, you're going to see libraries. Libraries are something new to Windows 7, uh, also in Windows 8, and libraries allow you to collect groups of folders together, and that's what Microsoft has done here. So I'm going to go over to my libraries, and underneath libraries, I have a pictures library. And I'm going to go ahead and click the little twirl arrow next to pictures. And then I can see what folders are underneath it. And there is my familiar My Pictures folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then over on the right-hand side, I see the contents of it. And I'm going to specifically go into this folder called Rosenblatt. And I double-click to go into it. And I'm going to go into this folder called Fixed, which is where my picture at is at. Now, notice that as I was doing this, I, of course, have to know where my file is in order for me to attach it. And I know that can kind of be a quandary for some people. This is, this is sort of where you need to understand that whole file and folder concept again. All right, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to scroll down, and there is the picture that I want to send. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and then I'll click Open. And you can see in Gmail that it is uploading it. It is attaching it to my message. And you can see a little progress bar here. And when this finishes, you'll see that in the header part of my message, where the two and the subject are, it also is going to show me that I have this file attached. OK? So I'm going to go ahead and send it now. We'll click on Send. And it is off. I just sent it off. Now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. And I am going to pull up my local program called Outlook Express, which is just another email program. And Outlook Express is the program that I use on a regular basis, but this will just give us a little bit different view of how things look. And I'm going to go ahead and, and have it check mail for me here. And if we're lucky, one of the messages that comes in should be that message I sent to myself from Gmail. 
And there we go. Here's something from John Lortz. That's me. Here's a picture for you. Now, notice that this is my inbox list. And notice right here I've got a paperclip, which is my indicator that this message has an attachment. So let's go ahead and I'm going to double click and open up the message. Okay, let me make that message smaller so you can see it in the little window that I have for you today. And there we go. You can see a little bit better now. Okay, so now here I am inside of my email message. Now, this is where I wanted to point out some differences when it comes to receiving email uh, and attachments through email. Um, a lot of times when you attach a picture and send it, a lot of email systems will simply display the picture at the bottom of the email message. Some programs, though, like the one that I'm using right now, actually don't display the message, but they show the message as an attachment right underneath the header area again. So you can see right here is where my attachment is. Okay. In order for me to view it, I can click on it. And as soon as I click on it, I can see it on the screen. Now, with some email programs, they won't even let you click on it. And what happens is, is basically what you need to do, and this is something you can always do just about in any email program. If you want to save this attachment to your computer, which means you're saving the file to your computer, you can basically go to the attachment link, right click, and choose Save As. And it's either going to say something like Save As, or save attachment as, or it's going to say something like save link as. Okay, so in this case it says save as. I'm going to go ahead and click. It brings up my saving window. Okay, and so this is where I would navigate to where I want to save it, and I'm going to go ahead and save it right out to my desktop just for fun today. You can see that it already has a name because, of course, when somebody sent this to me, it was already a file that was named. I could change the name if I want to, but I'm going to leave it the same. And then I click Save. And what I've basically done then is I've taken this attachment and I have saved it to my computer as a file, which means that now I can do whatever I want to with it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back over here to my message. Okay, my main email message. There we go. Okay, and again, I want to remind you that in a lot of email programs, when you don't actually see the picture attachment or see the attachment itself, you can simply go to where it's shown in the header, right click on it, and choose Save As. That's how you can save it. Now, some email programs, and I'm going to go ahead today and I am going to forward this message along with the picture back to my Gmail account so we can actually see it in, in Gmail. So jblortz at gmail.com and I'm just gonna just leave the I'll just leave the message blank here and I'm gonna send it. Okay and this can this will give us an idea then what it looks like in Gmail. So let's go back over to Gmail and I'm gonna have it refresh and we'll see here if it's gotten there yet. And there it is. Okay, here's the one I sent back. And I'm going to go ahead and click and go into it. Oh, by the way, see, there's the paper clip that shows me I got it. I'm going to click and go into the message. And you can see that in my Gmail message, if I scroll down, I can see it toward the end of the message. See how it was attached toward the end of the message? Okay, and with Gmail, they actually give me a link to download, which is the same as saving it to my computer. Or I can actually come over here to the picture itself. I can right click on it and I can do save link as, or I could even do save image as. Okay, or in Gmail, I could also simply click on it and it would be pulled up on the screen. And I could I could right click on it here and I could say save image as. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So the key thing to keep in mind about attachments again is that what you're doing is you're sending files back and forth to each other as attachments. When you go into compose a message, you need to look for a paper click or something that says attach file. You're going to need to know where your file is on your computer so that when you click and you go out and you browse for it you can find it, you know which folder it's in. And then when you receive them on the other end, 
the key thing to remember is that to, to save it to your computer so you can actually do something with it, you're either going to look for a link that says something like download or even better yet, you're going to right click on the picture or right click on the link to the file and you're going to say save link or save picture or save attachment as. Okay, hope that makes attachments a little bit more clear to you. And again, my name is John Lortz, and you're welcome to visit our website. It's www.discoverskills.com. Of course, you can always send me an email message. I love to hear from you. My email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. And of course, we have a YouTube channel where we have lots of different YouTube videos on, on uh, technology and learning about computers and learning about iPads and all kinds of things. My YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash discover skills. And of course, we always love to hear your comments. We always love to, to get a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. So again, my name is John Lords from discoverskills.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.